Hello, this is Varun Shah from the No Community Channel, and this is going to be the first non-Deals of the Week video. It is still going to be a video based on where should I be buying my games, and the title of the video is where's the best place to buy games, but it's not going to be a specific deal. It's more of a, in general, if I'm buying a new game, where should I be looking in general if there isn't already a sale available, or if there's something I want to pre-order, where should I probably look first to, to make that decision. Now, in this case, I'm going to be focusing mainly on console games because PC have Steam sales, Greenman Gaming. It's a whole different kind of system. There's a variety of prices that can happen. And it's never very really predictable. Console games, though, however, are always MSRP is 60 for most AAA titles and very rarely go on sale before release or directly after release usually have to wait several weeks, sometimes months, for a title to go on sale. But I'm trying to show you that you don't always need to wait that long to get a good price for it, especially if it's a title you're really interested in getting day one. So we're going to be focusing on these five retailers here, GameStop, Best Buy, Target, Amazon.com, and Walmart. And where should you be looking, most likely, if you want to get the best bang for your buck, uh, day one, or ideally, or even in general, because I'm going to show you that even in general when you're shopping for a game, maybe you don't want to wait for a sale. Maybe you want to play it right then and there because that's when you're interested in playing. So hopefully I'll be able to show you where the best place to shop is. Now I also want to preface this video by stating I am not getting paid by any of these stores. I don't have any sponsorship from any of them, though I would gladly take a sponsorship from Best Buy, as you'll see why down the line. Uh, but I'm not getting paid. I'm just doing this to be a PSA to try and help you, the consumer, get the best bang for your buck and save as much money as you can. But, and still purchase the games in a timely manner so that you're not playing a game months later, but you're not also hurting your wallet at the same time. This video is mainly for people who are willing to buy physical media. Obviously, digital download has its benefits, but they just don't have the same kind of sales available to them. Whether that makes sense to you or not, that's the way it is. So again, this video is going to be focusing on physical media. I hope you find it useful. So to begin, I'm going to use an example with pre-ordering an exciting new title. For this case, I'm going to be using Halo 5 Guardians, which I'm sure a lot of you, like me, are looking forward to buying. But let's just say you're trying to decide right now, where should I go and pre-order Halo 5 Guardians to get the best price? Now, looking at this picture, you think, hey, there's nowhere really to go. Everyone's selling it at $59.99. Nobody even has a one cent discount above anyone else. So everybody's exactly the same. There's nothing different. Now, if you were to look into pre-order perks, that's a whole different thing. Obviously, each of these retailers will probably get some exclusive armor or perk or something or the other similar to Halo 4. A DLC perk might entice you to shop elsewhere, but it's not going to save you any money, which is what I'm trying to focus on. So the question you have to ask yourself is, what makes these retailers different when it comes down to pre-ordering and buying games? And the biggest thing anyone can notice is some of these sh uh, stores have memberships, others don't. The two stores out of these five that have video game related memberships are GameStop, obviously. They have their power-ups program, which I'm going to talk about in a second. And the other is Best Buy's Gamers Club, which is probably the one you haven't heard a lot about, and that's the one I'm going to be focusing on later on in the video. So GameStop, again, has their Power Up Rewards program. They have a free version and they have a paid version. Free version just sets you up to earn points, whereas if you didn't sign up for it, you wouldn't earn points with your purchases. If you pay the $15 for the year, you get the one-year magazine subscription to Game Informer, if you like reading it. That's a plus for you, I guess. Uh, you get a percentage bump on points earned, so you get a 10% bump there, and you get 10% extra credits when you do trade-ins. And you get 10% off used, and you also get some sales, coupons throughout the year, what have you. But it's never a broad-based discount unless you're buying used. The only broad-based discount that they're offering you is 10% off used games, and they obviously give you some kind of extended return policy. Now, these points that you save up, you can get these coupons for $5 off, $10 off, whatever. But again, you can only shop at GameStop. You can only buy what they have in their store, or you can get their hats, their keychains, or what have you, if that stuff interests you. Again, and then you have to obviously 
buy all the games there, make sure you're saving up these points, make sure you're keeping track of it, making sure they don't expire, so on and so forth, and you have a fixed selection of items which you can buy. And in my opinion, it's not worth it for what you're paying. If you're interested in these items, most of the time it's cheaper to just buy the items separately. You can almost almost always find the non-exclusive stuff that they have elsewhere through retailers or eBay or what have you. Uh, so that's GameStop Power Up Rewards. So now I'm going to be talking to you about Best Buy. Now I'm going to tell you right off the bat, in my opinion, almost all of your games, if you're buying console and you're buying physical, should be purchased from Best Buy. Now, of course, I'm going to explain why I've made a bold statement. i got to back it up. So next week is E3. We're going to be seeing a lot of new games, and we're going to be enticed to go out and pre-order them. So games like Halo 5, uh, Tomb Raider, Assassin's Creed, FIFA, all these games are going to be huge games that we're going to be seeing, and we're going to be enticed to go out, run out, pre-order those games so we can get them day one. But what if I told you if you pre-ordered, you would get $10 off your next purchase, no matter what. No points, no saving receipts, no checking to make sure, just $10 in credit that you can spend on your next purchase, be it a video game or be it anything else that they sell at Best Buy. It doesn't have to be a video game. It could be a PSN card, it could be an Xbox Live card, it could be headphones, it could be in your computer, it could be a movie, whatever you want, you get $10 off your next purchase. And the best part of this is it doesn't cost you a penny to sign up. Granted, you need to put a $5 deposit to reserve a video game, but there's no cost to sign up for a membership, there's no cost to pre-order the game other than the $5 deposit. Now, if you're liking what Best Buy is doing, that's just the free membership. If you're pre-ordering three or more games in a year or even two years, then you should really consider paying uh, for their premium membership, which is Best Buy Gamers Club Unlocked, which I'm going to talk about next. Best Buy Gamers Club Unlocked is Best Buy's premium membership. You can think of it similar to GameStop's Power Up Rewards, but it's actually worth what you're paying. Uh, it's $30, but you get a two-year membership. Now, for $30, what are you getting? You're getting 20% off every new game. It doesn't matter if the game just came out. It doesn't matter if the game's been out for weeks. It doesn't matter if the game's on sale. Whatever the price that they are selling it at that day, you get 20% off. So if there's a sale that week and the game's already discounted to 40, you get 20% off 40. You don't get 20% off 60. But if you're pre-ordering a new game, you get 20% off day one. And that's assuming there is no $10 gift card being offered to you for free, which you'll still get on top of that, to be clear. You get your 20% off and you get the $10 gift card. And I want to clarify one thing about that gift card. Uh, you can't just pre-order the game, pick up the game, return the game, and then get $10 back. After you pre-order the game and after you pick up your game, that's you get your $10 after you pick up the game and only after about a month and a half when the return period for the game is over. They'll issue you a $10 credit into your uh, rewards account uh, through Best Buy. So you're also earning points through Best Buy's rewards uh, membership. That's how the $10 gift card is issued to you. They give you a $10 certificate, which you can then print out, take it in the store, or you can even order online. But the only catch for this is you do need to sign up in store. You cannot sign up for this membership online, unfortunately. That's just the way their uh, old system works. You've got to go into the store to sign up. But once you sign up, you can pre-order your games online. You can have them shipped to you. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to walk into the store, anything like that. There's always free shipping. And if you pre-order early enough, I would argue if you pre-order at least a month in advance, you're almost always guaranteed to get the game within a day or two of release date. And if you have... Uh, a premium membership through Best Buy, meaning like you've bought enough from Best Buy and you get like two-day shipping. Sometimes you'll even get the day game release day or sometimes even the day before. It's happened to me a couple times where I've pre-ordered a game and it will show up at my door uh, day before release. So that's rare, but it does happen. A couple other quick things about the Best Buy membership. You still get a 10% bump on trade-ins, so they still give you that. Uh, again, they give it to you on a Best Buy gift card. You can spend it whatever you want in the store. It does not have to be video game related. Uh, you get a 10% discount on buying used, same as GameStop, and uh, you get some exclusive game deals that show up from time to time. One more time, I'm going to look back at 
the Halo 5 example I was talking about. So let's look at it through the Best Buy Gamers Club pre-order deal. Let's say I don't have a silver membership. I just go into the store and I pre-order Halo 5 Guardians. I will be guaranteed if I have a Best Buy account, which is free to sign up for, I'm guaranteed a $10 uh, gift certificate, which I can use a month or so after the game's release and after I've picked up the game, of course. Now, again, let's say I had that silver membership. I would save an additional $12 because 60 uh, minus 20% is 48. So if we were to account for both things, I'd be paying $48. That's what I'm paying, $48 for the game, and I'm getting a $10 gift card. So that essentially means, if you do it my kind of math, you get it for $38 day one. That is a fantastic price, in my opinion, for a day one game. And that's not restricted to Halo 5. Again, you have, only certain games get that $10 discount. You have to look at the page, it changes. Not every game that's coming out gets at $10, but that 20% is universal. It doesn't matter if you're buying Xbox One, it doesn't matter if you're buying PS4, PS3, Xbox 360, Nintendo, Wii U, 3DS, even PC gets these discounts. So the discount is universal. It doesn't make a difference. All right, to sum it all up, in my opinion, if you're looking to pre-order and buy most new titles, I would almost by default look at Best Buy to do this kind of purchases because of the $10 gift card that they offer most for most major AAA titles and because I subscribe to the Gamers Club Unlocked membership to get the 20% off discount. If you're pre-ordering more than three titles, it's definitely worth it because you're saving $12 off each title before any gift card, so that's 12 off each one. So that's $36 saved off of three titles, which already pays for your membership. If you're buying three games in two years, it's absolutely worth it. That's before you count for trade-ins, that's before you count for anything else, and I absolutely think it's worth it. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this kind of long video. I realize it's a lot longer than Deals of the Week. I kind of went on a little bit of a rant. I apologize. I wasn't meaning to make this so long, but I just wanted this to be a video to help you. I wanted to explain why I shop here, why I think it's the best place, and how you can save money. Because I know a lot of cost-conscious gamers that will skip out on games because they're waiting for a price drop or they just can't afford it. Hopefully, this is enough to help some of you guys get in the game a little bit earlier and get the games you want when you want so you can play with all your friends. Thank you again for watching. Have a nice day. Have a nice day.